Hey y'all, I'm Aman. To cut to the chase, there was a lot of spy stuff in World War I. Or, if you want to be fancy, then espionage, such as using windmills to deliver Morse code and Matahari, the prostitute slash agent slash double agent at the back of the class. Let's start with codes and cryptography. Belgians used the opening and closing of the firebox engine of trains to transmit Morse code. The moving and stopping of windmills was also used to transmit Morse code. Another form of code was used by two German agents who sent orders for tobacco to, to their office overseas. The brands and sizes of cigars were codes hiding British shipping movements. They were found out and British cryptographers told the judge that tobacco would not be transported overseas in the way Johnson claimed that they would spoil. But not all spies are sophisticated cold-blooded wolves, and they get caught for not being sophisticated cold-blooded wolves, like Carl Laude. He communicated by telegram or post, easiest methods for the British to intercept the messages. This dude also sent pathetically false information, like the time he told the Germans that the Russians were sent to the Western Front to fight. Ugh, I think the British interceptors were cringing. But you gotta give him credit for putting on a diamond armor during his trial. He didn't give any information about his superiors. Not giving information seems like the only thing he's good at. And face his execution with the valor of a soldier. And of course you have Matahari, a Dutch prostitute who tricked the British into thinking she was working for the French and tricked the French into trusting her while working for the Germans, masquerading with an Indian name and Indonesian ethnicity. Just choose a country, goddammit. There was also this other spy who was classy as hell, Fernando Bushman was handsome, played the violin, and smiled through his execution. What more could he ask for? Well, seems like that's enough espionage for one day. Hope you enjoyed. Hope I get an A. And bye, James Bond out.